In this video, we'll look at acid alkali titrations in Yanka science. First, add a small beaker from the standard glassware folder. In the glassware folder, there's also a folder containing measuring glassware. Drag a burette from this folder. Place the burette so that its tip is just above the top of the beaker. In the beaker, we'll use dilute hydrochloric acid. Drag the bottle onto the screen from the acids folder in the chemical section of the parts library. Click on the label to change the amount to 20 cm cubed. Now add this to the beaker by dragging the bottle onto the beaker and releasing the mouse button. In the purette, we'll use sodium hydroxide solution. Drag this over the purette and release the mouse button to add it, just as with the other glassware. Don't worry about it reaching the top of the purette. Click on the top button on the toolbar and the burette will automatically be filled to the top. Yanka Science lets you use indicator solutions in your experiments. First, we'll drag the universal indicator chart onto the screen. Drag the universal indicator bottle from the indicators folder. Drag the indicator over the beaker to add a few drops of indicator solution. Delete the indicator bottle by right-clicking on it and selecting Delete. To follow the pH changes more accurately, we'll also add a graph. Drag the graph from the presentation folder in the parts library. To resize the graph, click on it and drag the grey squares that appear. To move the graph, click on the space around it and drag when a cross arrow appears. To choose what to plot in the graph, drag the target symbol from the y-axis onto the vessel you want to study. Then click the word property and choose the quantity to plot from the list, in this case pH. By default, the x-axis plots simulation time. You can change this in the graph's properties pane. Local part property lets you choose a property from the part you're plotting on the y-axis. In this case, choose specific part property, which lets you choose another vessel to sample. We'll also set the maximum on the x-axis to 50, as we are going to plot burette level. Drag the target symbol that appears onto the burette and choose burette level from the list. This plots the pH of the beaker against the level of the burette. You can also follow numeric values using a number part from the presentation folder. Drag a number part onto the screen. Set the number part up in the same way as for the graph axes by dragging the target symbol onto the beaker and choosing pH from the list. Drag upwards on the slider next to the burette to start the titration. As the alkali is added, the number part and the graph both follow the changing pH. To speed up the titration, change the simulation speed slider found in the options toolbar. As the titration reaches the midpoint, slow down the flow from the burette. To add the titrate drop by drop, click the button beside the bottom of the burette. This lets you find the midpoint of the titration accurately. As the midpoint is passed, the indicator in the beaker changes colour and the graph curves sharply upwards. Yanka Science has a wide range of acids and alkalis for you to use. This time, we'll use ethanoic acid and sodium hydroxide. Add the ethanoic acid to the beaker and the sodium hydroxide to the burette. The rest of the titration is set up as before. Click the restart button on the graphs toolbar to clear the trace before starting this new titration. This time, a different titration curve is drawn. The Atom Viewer can be useful to see how the ions react. Click the Atom button to show the Atom Viewer. Double click on the Atom Viewer to open its Properties pane. Here you can edit such properties as, for example, switching between symbolic and word notation and showing or hiding the legend. 
By default, water molecules aren't shown, however you can view them by clicking the Water Molecules box. Now, as the titration runs, the Atom Viewer shows the changing nature of the solution.